Hello everyone, it is Friday. It's a beautiful day here in Denver. I'm Carly and this is Zoo to You Virtual Safari. I am on what's called the beach here at our sea lion habitat, also home to our harbor seal Kim. But we're gonna be talking about Nick the sea lion today. So if you have any sea lion questions, Keeper Merritt is gonna help me answer them while Abby uh, trains and works with Nick, who I think needs to clean up his room today. So we're gonna see some really fun behaviors from him. So hello to everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, let me know if you have any Memorial Day weekend plans, what you're gonna do to have a nice safe holiday with your friends and family. So let's flip it around and say hi to Merritt. Hi Merritt. Hi. So who are we looking at today? Um, so this is Nick. Um, he is our largest and our loudest California sea lion. Um, he is 12 years old, soon to be 13, so we do have a lot of birthdays that are coming up mid-June, so we're pretty excited to celebrate all of those. Um, but Nick is working with Abby, and they are working on a training session. And as Nick's gonna show you guys, he is going to clean up all of the enrichment that we have in the pool. Now, um, training allows us to do a lot of different behaviors with our animals, and some of the behaviors that we can do are our husbandry behaviors and some of the behaviors that you guys might have seen in our demonstrations. But we can also do some fun behaviors that allow our animals to be creative and utilize some of that natural ability as well. So as you guys can see, Nick is actually using his whiskers and now his mouth to um, pick up that ball so we can get that out of the exhibit. <laughs> Um, now you guys might be wondering why we have so many toys in our exhibit as well. Um, toys are a part of enrichment for our animals. So um, we can use these items to have them um, work on their natural abilities. So being able to find their food um, in different toys um, and also play. So that's one of our goals for a lot of our animals. We do have a lot of younger animals and they're very playful. And so we can have them do different types of playing behavior. So a lot of these toys, they like to um, toss, they like to swim around, play with you, manipulating with their flippers or their mouths and do different things. <laughs> and if you're curious in the foreground there with her little head poking out, that is Kim. She's our harbor seal. We have an excellent video all about Kim on our YouTube channel, which is where we have all of these virtual safaris. So I saw someone said they wanted to see bears. We did do one with Tundra about two weeks ago. So if you wanna look for that video, she was a good time. So who else do we have in our sea lion group that are not out here today? So we have six California sea lions. So we have Nick, who you guys see out here today. We have uh, three other male California sea lions, Duke and Maverick, and then we have Gunnison. Um, Gunnison is actually Nick's, one of Nick's kids. Um, and then two other sea lions are our female sea lions, Lucy and then Addie. And Lucy is the mom to Gunnison and also Addie. And then Nick is also the dad to Addie. Very cool. So, and Kim is our only harbor seal. So she gets all the special attention. She is beautiful. She's got really nice spots. You can oftentimes catch her on our back beach area, um, but sometimes she likes to play in the pool with the sea lions. <laughs> so how is Nick doing with cleaning up his room? I think Nick's doing a pretty good job. It looks like he's gotten two of the toys off exhibit. Um, what's great about some of the toys that we can give our animals is some of them float, some of them sink. So Nick has to work a little bit harder to be able to find those toys. And does he have any on this side so people might be able to get a little closer view? Yeah, we do have um, toys over on this side as well. Yes, Lonnie, this is the Northern Shores habitat you're looking at. This is sort of a unique perspective. Normally, you all are looking from that side of the habitat. Today, I am on the inside in the, with Merritt and Abby and Nick. Let's see, Rory wants to know what other behaviors they have. So Nick is one of our most accomplished sea lions. Um, at being 12 years old, he knows over 50 different behaviors. So um, some of the behaviors and the most important behaviors that we use to take care of our animals are those husbandry or healthcare behaviors. So we can have Nick um, participate in his training sessions. And all of that is based on positive reinforcement. So that means that every single time we work with our animals, they're gonna get reinforcement for doing behaviors. It also means that um, they have the choice if they wanna participate or not. So as Abby is working with Nick, she is doing some husbandry behavior. So looking at the inside of his mouth, looking at the undersides of his flippers. Um, he can also lay down so we can check out his entire body. Um, what's really great about this down position is we're actually working on some really important healthcare behaviors, such as voluntary <laughs> blood collection, um, as well as x-rays um, to help take the very best care of our animals. 
Hi to Abby. She says, I can't believe I'm late. You're always on time, Abby. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll get, we'll give it to you on this day. It's a Friday. Um, someone's wondering if the boys can all be together in the habitat at the same time. That's a great question too. So yeah, we try, we have, um, six California sea lions that we want to make sure that they maintain their socialness. Um, so we do try to make sure that everybody gets to see everybody every single day. Um, so just probably about 20 minutes ago, we had all four of our boys out together. Um, we are starting to get into our breeding season though. So Nick being our largest male um, is um, definitely dominant when he is in this exhibit. So that's when we see a lot of vocalizations and them moving through the exhibit. <laughs> but we watch them every single day to make sure everybody's doing really well. That's... <laughs> that was Nick saying hello to all the viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, curiosity about the lifespan of California sea lions and the harbor seal. Yeah. So California sea lions and harbor seals typically live to be about 25 to 30 years old. Um, but with that said, Kim just celebrated her 32nd birthday, um, which means that she's getting really great care here. She gets a constant diet and she's doing really well for that 32. <laughs> He's blowing bubbles. Hi, Sophia. We say hello. We miss you too. Um, Fernanda's wondering why they have whiskers. That's a great question, Fernanda. Yeah, that's a fantastic question. So seals and sea lions both have very sensitive whiskers. And what they can use these whiskers for is when they're swimming around in the ocean or dark murky water, they can use those whiskers. Um, they're like finger-like projections to be able to navigate and figure out where things are at. They can also find fish that way as fish brush up against their whiskers. Um, Nick was using his whiskers earlier to be able to push a ball back over to Abby as well. Very cool. Um, let's see. Rory wants to know how we train them. Kind of what do we do to work up to that behavior? Okay, great question. So like I said earlier, um, our training is based on positive reinforcement. So the very first thing that we do when we're working with an animal is we try to start making a or creating a relationship with them. So we get to know our animals and they get to know us as well. And once we start working on that relationship, then we can progress to other behaviors. So um, some of the first behaviors that we do train with our animals, other than getting to know them um, and them getting to know us, is for them to start learning what a bridge is. So that's just our way of communicating with the animal that you've completed the behavior we've asked them to do. Um, and also pair that with our fish reinforcement. Now, some of the other behaviors that allow us to be able to shape others are a target behavior. So um, we can take our hand or a target pole and Nick and all the other animals here know to take their nose and touch it to that target. And from there, we can train all kinds of different behaviors. When we did our video on Kim, you said that touch behavior was one of the first we taught them so they could be comfortable with us. The target behavior. Target, target behavior. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Zoe wants to know, is their skin soft or rough and coarse? That's a great question. Um, so right now, as Nick is wet, it's pretty smooth. Um, but when he dries out, and these guys like to haul out or take naps, and that's when they dry out, and you can see that short, coarse hair all over their bodies. People can tell from here that Abby's feeding fish. Um, is fish their primary diet, or do, do they eat anything else in the wild or here? Um, so out in the oceans, these guys can eat up to 50 different types of fish. Um, here at the zoo, we feed four different types. So they get capelin, mackerel, herring, and squid. And how much we feed them depends on the animals, the season, and um, what stage of life they're in. So Nick is our largest sea lion. He's about 710 pounds. And right now he is getting about 30 pounds of fish every single day. Big boy. Hey, Miracle. Hi, Nate and Zach. Everyone says they love Nick. They know he's so loud and very, um, very vocal here. <laughs> uh, Miracle wants to know what's Nick's favorite activity. Here he comes with some more of his toys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of Nick's favorite activities, um, he definitely likes his enrichment as he's showing you guys. He really likes being able to clean up the pool. Sometimes when we're out doing other um, cleaning behaviors, he will also go find toys and bring them back to us. And then one of his other favorite behaviors is his innovate behavior. So basically when we do an innovate session with our animals, it's allow, asking them to do something different. So Abby's starting to demonstrate that a little bit now. So every time she puts her hands up, Nick just has to come up with a different behavior, which allows him to be pretty creative. Um, and Nick is a very creative sea lion. Um, you'll start seeing he does all kinds of different behaviors and he starts chaining them and putting different ones together. <laughs> Rory is always oh. trying to, to stump our keepers. He wants to know why they're called sea lions. Or are they related to lions? They are not related to lions, but one of the reasons why they get their name is 
because of the big male California sea lions, um, kind of get a mane around their neck, which kind of looks like a land lion's mane. Mm -hmm. Um, Addie, oh, you share a name with one of our, one of our girls, Addie. Um, are they swimming in salt water, fresh water? What kind of water do they swim in? So both of our exhibit pools are fresh water and all of our inside holding pools where we bring everybody in to do their individual training sessions. Um, those are salt water. Josh wants to know what is their maximum weight? Their maximum weight. That's a great <laughs> question. So male California sea lions can get to be about 600 to 800 pounds. 600 to 800 pounds, they're huge. Um, let's see, how big is Nick compared to Maverick? Oh, that's a great question too. So right now I think Maverick is about 350 pounds and Nick is weighing in at about 710. Ooh, so about double <laughs> his size. Uh, Lydia wants to know what are their predators? Also a very good question. Nick is actually giving you guys a hint. <laughs> that is his very best shark imitation. So sharks, and killer whales are their predators. <laughs> Sharks and killer whales. Let's see. Um, and talk about the history. Some Someone's asking, were they all born here? Were they rescued or come from other zoos? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so Lucy, who is our oldest California sea lion, um, she is 18 years old. She was actually born at the Sea World down in Florida. And then um, Addie and Gunnison are her two kids and they were born here at Denver Zoo. And then we have three rescue sea lions. So Nick is a rescue. Um, he was actually found when he was about a day old on the beach in California. So the um, rescue center set up a 24 hour watch just to make sure that mom was not gonna come back. And unfortunately she did not. So they um, picked him up, got him into their rescue center and took really good care of him. And then Nick got to be a little too comfortable with people. So they decided it would be in his very best interest to come and live at a zoo. So he's been here for quite a few years. And um, about five years ago, Duke and Maverick came to join us. And there are other two rescues. So both Duke and Maverick were part of a stranding situation. So they had a really hard time being able to find food. And so they got <laughs> also were brought in by a rescue center. And unfortunately for both of these guys, they were got back into good health were released back out into the ocean and both of them swam up the coast looking for food and they stranded once more. Oh, so a little bit of everything with, yeah. you know, born here, other zoos and rescues. Um, let's see, <laughs> Nick is so loud. A lot of questions, why do they bark? So they bark as their way of communicating. So um, if they, everybody has different vocalizations. So Nick is obviously our lar largest and our loudest sea lion. Um, so a lot of times he's barking to say, hey, I'm here. <laughs> um, with the female sea lions, sometimes it's, uh, these are my girls. Um, with the boys, when they're playing, it's they're just very vocal and it's their way of communicating with the other sea lions. But sometimes they'll also communicate um, to say, hey, I don't want you near me, or I need some space, or hey, I just wanna say hi. Ethan's wondering how fast they can swim. That is a fantastic question. So Nick can swim up to speeds of about 25 miles per hour, and he can also run that fast too. Yeah, they are very fast. Kim was following us out here at a very, very quick clip. Um, oh, Julie says, I got my Nick fix. She's a huge <laughs> fan. Um, so we talked about what they eat and that being fish. How much do they eat? That's a great question. So everybody varies a little bit. In the summertime, um, it's a lot warmer and they don't need a very big blubber layer to stay warm. So they're getting a little bit less food. So um, Nick's summer diet will be about 25 pounds. But come winter time, he could get all the way up to about 50 pounds a day. Um, Female California sea lions um, aren't as big as males, so they typically are, the biggest they can get is about 250 pounds, and diet-wise, the most they're gonna eat is maybe 20 pounds of fish every day. Very good. Tammy's wondering how we tell the sea lions apart. That's a really common question when we have very similar looking <laughs> animals for the keepers. So what is your all's trick for telling them apart? Um, I think for us, it's getting to know them but then everybody looks just a little bit different. So we spend a good portion of our day interacting with these guys. So we get to see all the differences between all of them. Obviously Nick's our largest one and Kim has spots, um, but our female, uh. <laughs> our female sea lions are a little bit smaller um, and tend to have a little bit more slender faces. <laughs> Okay, bye, Nick. <laughs> um, and then our boys are tend to be a little bit thicker, and they they look just a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, so now Kim's like, all right, some peace and quiet in this pool now for me. Uh, people are curious, what's the temperature of the water? Right now our temperature is 63 degrees in this pool. Is that warm or cold? <laughs> I, I think feel that's like that would be chilly for yeah, us. Yeah, I think that'd be chilly Perfect for, for these guys. <laughs> for us swimming. Um, questions, why do they have a freshwater and a saltwater pool? So that's a great question. Um, so our exhibit was built a long time ago and when it was built, it was state of the art and they didn't realize the importance of salt water. So as years have gone past, um, they've realized the importance for salt water. So that's why um, we wanna make sure that they get that salt and we can do that in our inside pools. Yeah. Hi, Julie. If you want to donate, you can go to our website and our emergency fund is right through there. So now we're getting a little up close with Kim. She's our harbor seal. If you missed it, she's 32 years old and she is spotted. That's the easiest way to tell her apart from the sea lions. What are some other differences between the harbor seal and our sea lions? So if you look at body shape, so Kim has some really small front flippers versus our sea lions have very large front flippers. Um, the way that she moves is a little bit different as well. So she does not have a <laughs> pelvic girdle that'll rotate. So for her to be able to move on land, she has to inch along on her belly. Oh, she's giving us a little wave there, everyone. <laughs> there she goes. Now another difference, and this one's really hard to see, but hopefully you guys will be able to see it now, is their ears. So you can't really see external ears on Kim's head, but she does have small holes where her ears are located because she has internal ear flaps. Hi, Casey. You can absolutely, absolutely renew your membership. Give our guest care a call or go online. Um, renewing it, it won't start until we reopen. So you're not going to miss out on any of that time while we're closed. Hi, Logan. Everyone says Kim is so <laughs> cute. We totally agree. Uh, Bridget's wondering what type of fish Kim likes. Kim, um, she gets two different types of fish. So she gets her capelin and her herring. Um, we tend to think she likes her herring more than her capelin, but every once in a while she likes her capelin more than her herring. Um, let's see. Hi, Sarah. We don't have a zoo reopen date. We're still working very closely with the city and state to do that, but don't worry. We are working on it. <laughs> um, and people are wondering where Nick went. He just went behind the scenes to his backyard, his behind the scenes room, enjoying some space there. Uh, Tim goes, does she like belly rubs? <laughs> Um, I don't think she's the biggest fan of belly rubs. So any type of tactiles that we do with our animals or touching them, um, <laughs> it's all through um, training. So as Abby is working on with Kim right now, um, and they actually serve a bigger purpose to be able to work on other behaviors for her. Now, it's probably hard to see through the feed, but I just noticed that when Abby touched her, she actually had like kind of hair that goes against the grain. So they do have hair. Yes, they do have hair. Um, and seals like to haul out too. So that's um, getting out of the water and taking naps. Um, and that's when she um, gets dry and fuzzy as well. <laughs> um, we must have some people who live close by because they say they can hear Nick in the mornings. <laughs> and I believe it. You'll, the second you're waiting for a quiet moment here at the zoo, that's when the boys start talking. <laughs> Are Addie and Lucy as um, loud? Um, they do not bark as much as the boys do, um, but they, Lucy is our quietest sea lion, so she has a very quiet bark, um, but Addie is just is loud just like her dad, so she has a very loud voice. How many teeth does Kim have? I believe they have 36 teeth, but that's something I have to look up because <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. Let's see if we can get a closer look at those. Are their teeth very sharp? They um, are very sharp. They're sharp and they're cone shaped um, and they use them to be able to grab onto fish. Um, and you probably notice as Kim is eating that she actually swallows her fish whole. Otto is wondering if they sleep in the water or on land. They can. Um, actually do both so sometimes they'll take short naps in the water um, what's really cool about harbor seals is they can hold their breath for a really long time so about 20 to 30 minutes so sometimes you might see Kim at the bottom of our pool and she's just taking a nap down there <laughs> so you just have to be patient just you know come back by oh there she is she is so cute um let's see people are wondering if harbor seals and California sea lions would cohabitate together in the wild they do um, inhabit the same areas, so um, harbor seals are found in California um, through um, Southern California all the way up the coast, and sea lions are in the same area as well. Kyron says she loves when Kim waves. <laughs> we do too. Um, Annika's wondering if they have sonar. Uh, they do not have sonar, but um, they do have those that really great eyesight, so when they swim underwater, they can, um, they have a uh, third eyelid so it's kind of like they have built-in goggles so they can keep their eyes open and then they definitely rely on those whiskers. 
Maggie is very observational. She's noticed that we've added some umbrellas to the habitat. Is that just to help keep the water cool in the summer? Um, that actually not only it keeps it a little bit cooler, but it also provides a lot of shade. So when our animals are, are out here, it's not super bright in the pool. Um, and it also helps when we're doing our demonstrations to keep them in the shade too, so they're not looking up at the sun. Yeah, just a little added comfort for them while they're out here. Everyone likes to get under the umbrella sometimes. <laughs> um, Nate's asking if the seals or sea lions are endangered. So California sea lions and harbor seals are not endangered, though they do have a lot of threats um, out in the oceans. Um, one of the biggest things is not being able to find food, um, which is why we have Duke and Maverick. Um, and another one is ocean pollution. Tim's wondering, are they active at night? They are not active at night. So these guys like to sleep overnight. So typically when we're getting ready to leave at the end of our day, they're starting to get into their position so they can go to bed. Um, and for the most part, they sleep most of the night and sometimes they're awake in the morning when we get in, sometimes they're still sleeping. Are they, are they morning pinnipeds or no? <laughs> are they grumpy? Uh, I feel like they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> are they like me, very resistant to waking up? Um, I'll take our last kind of call for questions here. So get yours in for Kim, Harbor Seal, Sea Lions. We had a great time with Nick earlier. I don't know, what, what grade, would, grade would you give him cleaning up his room? Oh gosh. <laughs> See, he missed quite a few toys, but he loves it. They were in a hard place. He did. You know, we're all just kind of <laughs> taking it easy. We're not going to make him pick up everything. <laughs> we're surviving, not thriving yeah. right now. <laughs> um, Luke says, how do you give them vaccines? And do we give them vaccines? Um, we do give vaccines and that's something that we work on. Um, so we train all of our animals to allow us to be able to do those tactile behaviors where we touch them and then we can train them to voluntarily accept those vaccines. Rory's wondering how deep the water is. That's a great question too. So um, right now where Kim's at, it's about six feet deep. The deep end of our pool is about 17 feet deep. Wow. So yeah, we do have an underwater viewing area over where those windows are. If you go below them, you can see them underwater. It's really fun when they swim by. Um, how much does Kim weigh? Kim weighs about 200 pounds right now. About 200 pounds. And that's full grown for a harbor seal. <laughs> so she is as big as she's gonna get and we love her for it. <laughs> um, let's see. So we covered if they sleep on water or land, can be both. Mm -hmm and we got how much he weighs we got the vaccines i think we've covered all of the questions everyone so if you have any last ones in the next minute or two we'll try to get that <laughs> answered for you kim says hello i think that's like the calmest i've seen the waters out here <laughs> ever <laughs> so it's very fun but yes we can have all of them out together at the mm -hmm. same time so sometimes it's really noisy and splashy and fun in here Sometimes we just have a couple. We just like to change up the social dynamics. Who would you say, you already said Nick is the most dominant. Um, what else is kind of the, how does the social structure <laughs> fall below him? Um, I think it's a, it changes on a daily basis. So um, every day, different animals. It's just like people, so everybody has different personalities. Same thing goes for the sea lions. So sometimes everybody likes each other. Sometimes they need a break. Um, <laughs> sometimes they're curious and um, fun and sometimes they're just having a low key day like we do. Oh, May has a question I did not get to ask. She wants to know, are they smart? They are super smart. Um, they figure out puzzles, they learn all kinds of different behaviors, um, and they're incredibly intelligent animals. Uh, Carrie is wondering how you become a trainer or a zookeeper. That's a great question. Um, so both of us have four year college degrees um, in a science related field. Um, mine's animal ecology and Abby's is zoology and then um, we did internships and we're um, worked really hard to be able to get our position here yeah you really have to start with those internships and work your way up and hope there's a zoo that'll have an opening <laughs> um in the winter what do we do do we heat the water or are they just used to the cooler water uh, we do heat our water so we keep it about ocean temperature which is about 55 degrees Awesome. Thank you, Tim, for donating. We appreciate it. We had so much fun today. Oh, page is nine. She has a question. How big are they when they're born? Um, when Gunny was born, I think he was right around, and Addie too, they were right around 15 pounds. Right around 15. Oh, that's so little. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. All right. Well, where's, oh, there's Kim. So we'll leave it on Kim. Thank you so much to Abby and Merritt. Thank you for 
all of the amazing questions and comments. We really love um, being able to bring the zoo to you, everyone. So, hi, Kim. <laughs> She's saying bye to everyone. And we will see you on Tuesday. We're taking Memorial Day off. So we'll be back with another virtual safari on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Thanks, everyone.